Uh, it works. So you can hear me and you can watch me, maybe. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, thank you for sharing your time with us. I'm Jonathan Santos, editor for Moving Aguero Puerto Rico. All right. And thank you for sharing your time to talk to us about your beautiful film. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm going to start with saying that, you know, first of all, I loved your film and I really love that opening scene from the very, from the very opening scene. I think it's the, like the most beautiful film scene of a car wash ever. Like you, <laughs> with, you and your team have an incredible talent to make our car wash look like the most magical place on earth, really. And I really think as I thought about it after watching the film, it really sort of sets the tone for the film as well with its unpredictability because uh, the relationship between Madeline and, and Charles really has sort of a, an emotional unpredictability. Was that something that you wanted to um, invoke from the very beginning? No, yeah, I wanted you to make the journey, the journey from about... You know, uh, the, um, the changing of the relationship between uh, the old lady and the, the young driver, uh, who is not so young, and um, and also to make you uh, a journey in Paris uh, just by sitting in a theater, which is the, the magic of cinema, and a journey on the past, the past of Madeleine, and her, um, I mean, her drama about uh, trauma, about domestic violence also. So, okay. um, yes, I love the idea that it, it's a journey movie. It's a trip. It's a trip during, on the, in the past and also uh, in the space in Paris. So, it's, that was the the basic ideas of that script and that film, for sure. Absolutely, yeah. And you mentioned an important point, which is that um, Madeline's story uh, as a as a young woman is very powerful, very you know dramatic in a way. And you know her dealing with those horrors of an abusive husband, um, and that you know that leads her to commit such a, an intense act in self defense for the for her safety mm. and for the safety of, of her child was that something that was planned for the very beginning from the very beginning and the, the consequences of that oh yeah 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 you know i received this script by email um and by reading it i was very moved i cry at the end and i say to myself well uh, it means something for me i have to do it so I called the, 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 the writer and I said, can I, I need to rewrite a little, but everything was there. I mean, an old lady and she has a, a very special past. And I love the idea that at the, very, at the very beginning, we said, well, she's a nice old lady. She's cute. And then by talking, you discover it's, it's a contrast a, a huge constraint between uh, what she means for for you watching her sitting on the back of the cab and what she did uh, during her youth. And um, I love this idea because when you see the old people in the street around you, you can't imagine uh, they were younger and what they did before. You know, it's always a mystery. And, um, and I love how it is in the script and in the movie. The starting, the starting of the movie is really not boring, but <laughs> very, you know, um, it's almost small. And then arrive uh, the moment, the violence of her husband. And then we say, wow, wow, where am I? What happened? And I, this, is, this is why I wanted to make this movie too, to surprise you. Absolutely, and you definitely surprised me. I mean, that caught me. That caught me off guard. The the twist of her story and the conversation with her and Charles. And uh, as I was thinking about it, about the reason that it, it impacted me so much, I think it was that I personally come from a religious background, and you know, the people in those communities uh, usually think about um, miracles in a way 
that you know they they search for an um old testament type of miracles but this movie i feel that really um talks about the fact that we can be a miracle to each other and madeline mm -hmm. really was a miracle to charles with oh, yeah. just only one conversation you know and you can you i felt like even if you remove that um beautiful act at, at the end of the movie without obviously spoiling anything even if you remove that like just that conversation really saved charles and charles and his family i think yeah i because i first of all it's a movie about human relationship it's a movie about the communication between the generations which is not so easy it's about it's a movie about the time we spend with the old people uh, which is not enough we know it we have our lives are full of many many things to do uh, which we believe it's very important <laughs> and sometimes we forget something maybe more important it's to take time to to call someone or to spend time uh, just have a drink and um, this is what we call the modern life yes uh, but it's it's, it's human-less in fact and then in this cab because of the traffic jam, because of his fucking Paris, <laughs> they have to stay together and they have to listen to each other. Absolutely. And then, and then something can happen. Absolutely. Yes, and as you mentioned, you know, about the, the traffic and you mentioned earlier that this was really a journey movie. Was that sort of a challenge filming-wise um, through the streets of Paris? You know, you were really showing the, the, the beauty of the scenery and of the buildings and the streets. Um, was that really a challenge uh, for you guys to film? It's always a challenge to film, to shoot in a car. Uh, for instance, I asked my crew to watch a movie I really love, shot by Steven Spielberg, named Duel. I don't know if you know that movie, but you have to, show, to, to, to watch it. It's about a car purchased by a truck in the desert. It's a kind of Joe's before before Joe's, you know. It's right. not a shark. It's a truck. It's a huge truck, <laughs> a crazy driver. You don't never you never see the driver, but this guy decided to kill the guy in the car in front of him. It's crazy, and it's a masterpiece. It's a lesson of cinema. Steven Spielberg was just twenty three at that time, in nineteen seventy one, and the way he decided to shoot inside the car was a huge lesson for us. So I, I asked my crew to watch again this movie before preparing anything about driving Madeleine itself. Of I, course. I love the idea that the, the past of cinema is still alive and can give lesson to you today. Of course, yeah. And, and, and it can be alive in like, the 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 simplest or most sophisticated films like like this one because uh, like people nowadays go to the movies usually to um for to see big blockbusters and to watch this this experience this big experiences but I think it's very important to um experience also these types of films that you know very much talk to the soul and uh, the spirit of the human human being. Thank you. And I, I think this this really projects that really well. And um, it's really beautiful in that way. All right, great. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> um, so um, do you think that so, a, a point that I wanted to uh, ask you about that really was a little bit like left up in the air in a way was the relationship between Charles and his brother. But it left me thinking in a way because was that something, um, do you think that maybe Charles' relationship with Madeline changed him in a way that maybe he could save his relationship with his brother or make it better? For my opinion, um, <clears throat> there was, a, there is something, I mean, the Charles, when he starts at the beginning of the movie and at the end, it's another, it's another Charles because the lesson of 
given by Madeleine is very strong and uh, I'm sure it will change his point of view with his own family, I do believe. Right. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. And you can yeah. see them, you can see that in him at the end of the movie, you know, uh, apart from the relationship that he, he had with Madeleine, I mean, it really affected him and in such an emotional way that he wanted to, you know, uh, his wife to meet Madeline and it was you know you could you could really see the change in him in that way that's right um so yeah so thank you um Christian it was lovely to talk to you it's a beautiful movie yeah and thank you. it's right it's right now in cinemas in Puerto Rico so I I would love so much to come to I would love so much to come to Puerto Rico but uh, it's not really possible so I let the movie make his destiny in your country and i hope uh, the people of puerto rico will enjoy it i hope it for sure and i hope you can you can come to our uh, to our island to our country someday i would love <laughs> would love for sure <laughs> thank you so much christian thank you jonathan bye-bye